Well, I haven't jumped in the air for two years. For Andrew Roggy, life changed a year and a half ago. And I was in a car accident involving two pickups on a gravel road. And not being someone not being on the right side of the road, and I was clipped. Roggy took the brunt of the crash that summer, which led to his losing a leg and eventually to being here to run for the first time since. You don't really think about it. You know, an average person doesn't, you know, they, if they need to run, go grab something, catch something in the wind or whatnot, they just do it. Many of these amputees are trauma and cancer patients looking to find their freedom again. The technology is called a blade foot. This allows them to go to the YMCA, get on a treadmill, get on an elliptical, run around with their kids, um, you know, jog, you know, every night with, with your family. I, I mean, it's, it just allows them to get out and be active, and that's something I think everybody needs. Not only does this new technology make it possible to get up and moving again, it's a first ever for above knee amputees. And prosthetics are expensive. You know, you go buy a car, you get to drive it. You get to, you get to, you know, you know, spin the tires a little bit here. Um, with prosthetics, they don't really get that opportunity. And give these amputees the chance to feel free and run again. Hunting, fishing, wakeboarding. You know, I've done it all. It's ten cents, snowboarding. Just. And not, nothing stopped me. Why should anyone be held back from what they're capable of doing when the technology is there? Reporting in Lincoln, Kayla Van Wee, WOWT, 6 News.